it is time to shop for some Halloween decor and I'm so excited. Now, I'm gonna be real with you in the beginning of this video. Am I gonna buy a lot? No, because I already have a lot. We just moved and downsized so much, so I don't wanna like buy a ton of things and like clutter. So this theme for Halloween is going to be cozy. I know, it's so original, right? But we're going cozy because I want it to last through like Thanksgiving and things. So I'm not really gonna be looking at much of the cheesier like traditional Halloween decor. I wanna do more cozy stuff and like comfy blankets and pillows and like candles and things like that. But even though I'm not gonna buy a ton of things, I thought why am I to deprive you of the shopping experience and watching me just go look at stuff. Just looking at it makes me happy. So I'm gonna at least do that. Whether or not I buy a lot doesn't matter here nor there. But I will say today I am for sure buying something if it is still in the store. So I went to Home Goods already. Sorry, I didn't film it. We took Fern to Home Goods one day and I found these pillows that I really, really loved and Ryan liked them too. And he was like, just buy them. And I was like, they're $40 for two pillows. They're seasonal. So I'm not someone who leaves my Halloween decor out year round, even though I am spooky year round, it's a little different. So I didn't get them. But then I decided I'm going to make my entire apartment cozy. And that includes like our bedroom. I never decorate our bedroom for Halloween or Christmas or anything. But this year I'm gonna make it kind of cozy and a little bit spooky. So I'm gonna go back and see if the pillows are still there and I'm gonna get them. They were really cool. And then I'm hoping to also get a blanket like a new cozy blanket and then I want to get like a new fall candle I have my favorite like Etsy stores that I get a lot of my uh, seasonal candles from but I'm gonna look at the candle section and see if they have anything good right now that's on the list for today and then I am going to be eventually going thrifting for like fall Halloween decor that could be year-round um, or at least seasonal as far as like going through winter as well just cozy cozy vibes so that's what we're gonna do let's go shopping See the pillows, but I like these. Oh. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. You right there? Like that was a heavy pillow. Too. <laughs> it almost took me out. <laughs> Thank you for helping. Yeah. <laughs> that would happen to me too. I swear. <laughs>
that was kind of a bust. Um, they didn't have the pillows. They, oh man, it's hot. Anyway, they didn't have anything. And then I went to TJ Maxx thinking they're the same like sister company, maybe they'll have the pillows. And then the line was outrageous in there. And I was like, I don't even have that much time to be out. I thought I would just go in, grab the pillows, find a blanket and a candle and leave. Um, but it, it's way more hunting than that. And I can't find the pillows, so I think they're sold out. But they were really cute. They were like a cream color with eyes on them. They had tassels, which I don't love. I don't know, there were some good options, but nothing I was like really excited about. So I didn't buy anything, so, but at least we got to look, right? So another day I'll go thrift shopping and we'll do a little fall thrifting. And I'm sweating so bad, it's so hot. Can it just be like fall and cozy, please, please? Okay, it is day two of going Halloween shopping. It's been like a week since the last clip. Um, today, I actually feel like going to some thrift stores. So I'm gonna go to this one thrift store I've never filmed in there before, and I think the last time I was in there was like three years ago. So I'm not sure if they're gonna have anything, but I remember it being really cute, and it's not a Goodwill. It's like a small little mom-pop shop kind of thrift store so I want to check that out and then probably a Goodwill and that's all I'm gonna have time for today. I actually have a list of things that I want and some of it isn't even Halloween themed it's just like home decor that I just want like full time. Okay so I want to get like a key hook to go beside the door and then I kind of want to hang like some potpourri on it so I want to get some potpourri and then uh, cushion covers for the pillows. I'm going to look at the pillows at the thrift stores and if I like the covers and they can come off then I can wash them and put them on my pillows. Um, I need two plant pots that you know can be year round or Halloweeny, whatever. A vintage tray because I'm going to do a small version of my potion shelf but on like a little tray and then some candle wall sconces. That's on my list for for home decor for right now for fall and Halloween. Hopefully I find at least one of those things. As you know with thrifting, you just never know uh, what you're gonna find and probably not gonna be on your list. So let's head to the first little small thrift store and then we'll go to a Goodwill. That was nothing like I remember it. I think they sold the space next door because it used to be twice as big with like a huge home decor section and it just wasn't that. It was still cute. There was uh, like a lot of, well, a lot of clothes for one, but the prices in there were really good actually. I got two things and I'll show you later, but nothing for home decor for me personally. But I did get two things that I'll still show you <laughs> even though it's very unrelated to this video. So let's go to a goodwill I guess and we'll look around there
be at the light for a minute, so I'm gonna vlog while I'm in the car. Um, that was a weird, weird Goodwill trip, not gonna lie, but I found some cute stuff, um, and you'll see everything that I bought in the haul, uh, and I'm very excited about it, but I didn't find everything that I needed, obviously. I'm gonna have to go to a couple more stores, and even then, I still don't know if I'm gonna find everything that I need. But yeah, maybe an antique store, another Goodwill, and obviously Spirit Halloween, Joann's, maybe Michael's, you know, I kind of want to go hit up those stores and show you those as well um, and just see what they have. So yeah, I'll we'll see you on another day. Okay, we are back out going into the world and I almost stopped the video because I don't really have a lot of time to go run all these errands. But today we're gonna run over to the other Goodwill really quickly and I'll film that. And then I'm hoping later today Fern and I can go over to Michael's. I'm not actually gonna go to Joanne's or Spirit in this video. We're gonna do that another time. But Michael's is having all their um, Halloween stuff on sale. So I'm gonna try to do that today as well. But I do wanna go check out the other Goodwill just to see um, because the last one was so successful so I am like in the thrifting mood. Also I went to the antique store a couple days ago and I didn't film in there because there I didn't expect to find anything and I just didn't feel like filming and uh, but I did buy some stuff that you'll see in the haul and I'm so excited about them. You're gonna die when you see the inspo and then what I got. Okay let's head over to Goodwill number two. I did not film that much in there uh, because my arms were full because I got so much stuff. There's a little sneak peek uh, back there. I got a bunch of stuff, so couldn't film. Sorry about that, but really happy with everything that I, I'm like hitting the jackpot this week with thrifting and antiquing. Like I'm very excited about it. So I can't wait to do a haul later. Today's kind of the last day that I can before I want to get this video up this week. So we might just skip right to the haul. I don't know, because I found so many things. I'm not gonna buy anything at Michael's, I think. I would just go there to look. Same with Joann's and Spirit. Like, I don't need that kind of Halloween decor right now, because I have so much of it <laughs> over the years. So, should we just do the haul? Let's just, let's just do the haul. So cozy. I wanted to film in like a cozy spot in my house because it's a cozy video, it's a cozy haul. So here we are. Um, it would be a lot better if that window wasn't there. And if you wanna know all about that window, uh, you can watch my last video, the cleaning the disaster apartment. I complain about that and I will continue to complain about that window. So anyway, we're in the dining area. Let's start with the haul. I don't know where to start. Isn't that a tradition that you have to say when you do a haul? I don't even know where to start. Let's do the small little thrift store that I went to because I think that was the next place I went to after I went to Home Goods and TJ Maxx. I didn't get anything there, but I did get a couple things at this thrift store. Um, I'm including non-home decor items in this video as well just because I thought you might be interested in them anyway. I got this flannel. Uh, that uh, little store, the thrift store, is they had really good prices. So all their flannels were six dollars, um, which for flannel is a pretty good deal. Because if you go to Goodwill, they're like at least ten dollars now. Um, but it's this cute little green one. I like that it's like shorter. I might even crop it more and cut the bottom off. And then all of their DVDs were a dollar. So. I bought Freaky Friday, as you do. I don't have it in my collection and I felt like I needed it. I've been actually really wanting to watch that movie and maybe I'll watch it tonight, um, but I don't have it and I don't think it's streaming anywhere. You'd have to like rent it. So for a dollar, I own it. There is actually one thing that I got at TJ Maxx, not for this video. I got this a while ago and it's this cute little ghosty mug. I love it. It's just like the white color with the little ghosts all over it. I'm gonna break up all the thrift stores and the antique stuff and do Target. Uh, I didn't film in Target, but I did find a couple things. I don't really love their dollar section anymore. I just find it to be like, 
I don't know, really cheap stuff, but I did get these candles and I got these a while ago as well. The twisted taper candles, I got them in a like sage green color because that kind of goes with my house. And then this like orangey color, but they're pretty and they were cheap. They're $3 for the set, for each set. Um, and then also in the dollar section, I got these tea towels because I always hang a towel right above the bottle station to dry off her bottles. So this will be the bottle towels of the season. So we have this cute little pumpkin one. And then this one that says happy Halloween on it with like some embroidery. I'm not typically into like the cheesy kind of Halloween stuff like this, but I liked these. I don't know why, but I did. And then not in the dollar section, wish it was. Uh, we got this big old candle. This candle, is so good for so many reasons. Uh, for one, the smells really good. It's firewood and patchouli. It just smells like a ma magician shop or like a witch's shop. It just smells so good. Obviously it's a cauldron. If you know me, if you've been around on this channel and you've seen me decorate for Halloween every single year for the past couple years, you know I love me a good cauldron. I have so many of them and this one is so beautiful and the candle was $20. However, once the wax, once the candle's all burned up, this is a beautiful ceramic cauldron that I'm gonna reuse every single year. So you get a Halloween decor item in it as well as a candle. Now I'm gonna show you what I got at the antique store. So this was a miracle find. I really wanted to jump for joy in the store when I saw this. So here's my inspo for actually this little area right over here, I'll show you. So right next to my front door, we have this little picture. And then I was thinking below the picture, I would hang something for our keys. And this is the inspiration. I want something like vintage, antique looking at least. And you could find these on like Etsy for like 70 bucks. But then I found this at the antique store. Um. Hello, it's like the exact kind of style that I wanted with like two little hooks. It was written as like a towel rack, but this is gonna fit in that space so perfectly. I can't even believe that I found this and it was $19 I wanna say, which is a steal for like an antique little key holder slash towel rack. And then I wanted to get like a tray for potions, specifically for this table. I was thinking of doing like a mini little potion situation up here, um, but I can't do like a full shelf like I used to. I could, I guess I'd do that, but the, the way the layout is right now, I don't wanna do that. So I wanted to find a nice vintage tray and I found this one, which is like old and tarnished, which I thought was really beautiful. And it was only $15. I found a bunch of other vintage trays that were like 38 minimum. And then they would just go up from there. There was one I loved and it was like $50. And I was like, I can't buy a tray for that much. Um, and I even looked around Goodwill and it, they just had like a bunch of like cheap chargers, you know, like plate chargers. So that didn't really fit the, the aesthetic that I was going for, but this one does. This one's really pretty. It has a really wide edge, which I don't love. I was thinking something really skinny and thin metal that was like tarnished and like rectangular. Um, but this, you know, it's, it's pretty. I think it's still a plate charger to be honest, but I still love it. I think it's gonna be really nice over here with some potions on it. I hit the jackpot a lot at Goodwill. I was so shocked by everything that I found. I have not one bag from Goodwill, but two. And yes, I did get clothes. And yes, I'll show you what they are. So let's just move this one over here. Um, let's start with the first Goodwill. I did get this garland. This is like the only Halloween decor I bought <laughs> because I'm trying to find decor that is like multifaceted. This is obviously Halloween as well. That's like the only two things, the cauldron candle, um, but that's like different. I don't know, not really decor, it's a candle, but I really liked this garland and I'm not sure where I'll hang it yet, but I just like how they look really old and decrepit and like straight from the grave, you know, and like the, brown color, like dirt. <laughs> Usually skeletons are like bright white. So I liked that one. And then it was $3.99 at Goodwill. I was looking for a wall sconce. You guys know I said I wanted like candle wall sconces, specifically two, a pair would be nice because I have a mirror in the hallway. And I was thinking one on each side would be so good because I don't want to hang art there. And I found this one and I could not find the pair for the life of me. Like I looked in so many adjoint, like adjacent aisles trying to find the other one of these because I wanted it so bad. 
but I got this one anyway and it is perfect. Like, can we just take a minute to look at this beauty? It is so perfect. It is everything that I wanted in a wall sconce. It's wood, it's, you know, black, it's glass, so I could fit a votive in there. That's so cute. Not even a tea light. I don't even have to put a tea light. I could put a whole votive in there. And the price was $3.99. I could... I couldn't have asked for better, so I immediately grabbed this. Another thing I like to have is like old books. I actually have a couple already over here. Can you see them next to the wine? Um, I just like the look of the old books and I prefer them to be ones that I would actually read, but that's okay. I got this one, which is like a ready color with a brown spine. Um, so it's like kind of skinnier. And then I got a black one because I don't actually have any black ones. And so, Our Times, The Turn of the Century by Mark Sullivan. I don't know, it's just like an old vintage black book. And these are $5.99 a piece, which I thought was a little steep for being old books. And then another really good find, speaking of cozy, I got this brown cardigan. I'm really feeling brown colors right now. I don't know why, it's like everything that I bought from this Goodwill with the books, and you know this candle holder and this brown cardigan it just felt very dark academia or like academia you know like i'm in dead poet society you know harry potter or something like that it just felt very fitting and that's my favorite kind of vibe to go for for halloween as you know is harry potter or academia anyway i found this cardigan and it is so comfy it's in great condition i don't think it's ever been worn to be honest like it never has been washed it doesn't have a weird smell um and it is 100 percent wool which is such a good find for this kind of condition. It's an Alfani brand and it was $8.99. But this is just, it's perfect for my aesthetic lately. <laughs> Next, Goodwill bag. Firstly, for home decor, I found this little candle tray. It's a dish for something. I don't know if it's for candles necessarily. It could be for jewelry, um, but it's just a cute little like platform tray and it is glass definitely came from an old lady's house because it has that scent to it you know what i mean there's like this velvet thing on the bottom anyway this was 99 cents i thought it was such a good deal and i'm gonna put like a pillar candle on it because i don't have a lot of trays or anything to like actually melt pillar candles so we got another little tray and then i can't get enough of like candle holders <laughs> obviously i buy so many candle holders they're like my favorite things to thrift um and i found these and these are just stunning let me get the other one these are heavy these are so heavy like now i know why these are like a murder weapon and clue you know the candlestick um these are hefty and they're tarnished as well which i think just adds to them i could polish them if i wanted to but it kind of makes them look like old brassy candlesticks and they're just they're gorgeous they're $6.99 a piece this isn't too bad i'd prefer less but for the fact that they're like kind of vintage one is missing that's base but that's fine i don't really care so these are beautiful i mean just look if you put that candle in that next to the wine and like the old books I just feel like I'm in an old library. I love it. And then these are clothes. I'm gonna do those last. Um, the last home decor thing that I got at Goodwill, I'm not sure if people are gonna think is kind of gross. I got some pillows. I got this set. Um, I found them separately and I was so happy I found the pair. I was, wasn't was really anticipating it, um, but I wanted them. They look like they come from like an old vintage couch you know what i mean they were definitely like couch pillows at one point that someone didn't want but i love them i think they're really cute and they're just like cozy and warm and they're they're 2.99 a piece which i thought was pretty good um the reason why it might be controversial is because you can't take the covers off and so washing these is very difficult however they're in really good condition there's no stains on them they don't even smell like someone else's house, you know what I mean? Like it, they are very clean. They kind of just seem like they were in a garage somewhere, <laughs> but they're really pretty. And I'm thinking on the bed would be the best place. Cause on our couch, we have gray couches and I wish I didn't have a gray couch to be honest. Um, but this is just not going to work on a gray couch. Maybe I'll try it. But I think on the bed with our new bedding, cause our new bedding is this color. It's like this beige color and there's a little bit of that in these pillows so i just think this would add like a nice coziness to the bed okay so that's it for home decor for this video like i said i'm not buying a lot of halloween decor i just want decor that i can use throughout fall and winter mostly just like cozy stuff anyway let's do the clothes from goodwill i found this dress 
kind of like a midi maxi dress that I bought specifically to wear like under t-shirts. Um, it's a really cute print. It's originally from Forever 21, but yeah, nothing really that special about it, but I just am trying to buy like more skirts and dresses to layer under shirts and sweaters, especially going into fall. I think it's a really good like transition piece. Speaking of that, I got a skirt, which I tried this on already and I'm so excited about it. It's not as exciting for you. It's like a vintage Anthony Richards might be vintage, I don't really know, but this was $5.99. It's just a black skirt and it goes to my ankles, so I guess that would be maxi. But the fabric is just so nice and so comfy, flowy, soft. Um, I already tried it on with like a cropped horror t-shirt and it was, it was a good fit with some like Converse or boots. That's gonna be a good look. So yeah, just stuff like this. It's like really simple, basic, and comfy. And then lastly is a pair of jeans that doesn't fit me, which that's the risk you take not trying on in the store itself. Um, but they're Riders by Lee jeans, and they're just like this like black color. I wish they fit, um, but you know, maybe they will one day. I don't wanna be one of those people, but I am nine months postpartum, so it you know might change my body's you know gonna continue to change they are size 10 and they were 7.99 so i'm gonna keep them for a little bit because i just stopped breastfeeding i know this is like a weird tangent but i just stopped breastfeeding and usually when you do that your body kind of changes kind of goes back to normal i don't say back to normal because it's never going to be back to normal um but you can like start exercising again and i don't have to eat as much uh in order to breastfeed so i haven't been able to wear any of my pants and that's been very disheartening to be honest like it's just not even for like size or anything i don't care it's style and like fashion and what i'm wearing like i don't like how i dress right now so anyway we'll do a closet clean out very very soon i really need to tackle that closet and we'll try clothes on and see what fits and yeah what i need to get rid of anyway there you have my cozy little comfy fall haul i'm very excited about everything that i bought it's been so long since i bought like decor like this and like thrifted i was just really hitting it this week with the thrift stores and antique stores anyway i hope you enjoyed coming with me and looking at some halloween stuff but mostly just looking at fall and winter decor that i can use throughout the rest of the year i hope that's still exciting because i know i normally go all out for halloween and i am going to decorate for halloween like i'm going to do my usual kind of thing and use my decor so be on the lookout for that i'm actually going to start filming that tomorrow and i'm so excited to put everything up and bring out the halloween decor i'm so excited anyway let me know what your favorite item is that i found in this video and i hope you enjoyed and i'll talk to you soon bye